Okay. All right. I want to go exploring some more, but. Oh, wow. Come on. We're not going to be doing this all night, guys. Is there anything over here? There had better be something over here. No, nothing. Just run around this spooky forest. Woo, buddy. Yo, do they have two axes? Really? Me too? Alright. I don't think I can be in this forest too much longer. They are kicking my ass. Uh, let's get back to the light. Come on, y'all. Nope. Safe haven area. Sucker eye barrier. All right. Uh. Oh, let's make a dash for it. Are they out there still? Did they despawn? I can hear them. All right, we out. Where am I supposed to go? Whoa, they are fast. Holy crap. Wow. Wow. All right, we need to get the hell out of this forest. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, but. Oh, I don't have to focus on them. As long as I hold my flashlight on them, I'm good. Gotcha. There's light over here. Yes, light, light, light. Run towards the light. Yay. Yeah, I cannot believe how fast those guys are. Like, holy crap. You just, they, they are on you like white on rice. Like, y'all just saw, uh, okay. Oh, come on. Yeah, that has to be like the lightest rock of all time. That, that had like no weight to it whatsoever. Okay. This is really some good sound design though, because it is really throwing me off here. Really got me an edge. Had me quite tense here. Uh, nah, I don't think so, buddies. We are out. Wow, I dodged that. Oh, yes, this is like the best part of the game. Take a courageous man to change the 
script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. So wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools. Gaze upon quantum immortality. Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Felled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat in night springs. Yep, amazing. Whoa, buddy. I'm gonna need you to calm your tits down. Wow, I totally dodged that. Wow, where did that guy come from? Wow, I need you guys to calm down. Please calm down. Ooh, nope. That's a wrap. All right. Got your game. Let's go. Come on now, freaky man. If this is what we're doing, this is what we're doing, game. Let's go, game. I got you now. Oh, I thought I had you. Nice. All right, come here, Stucky. Ooh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? I see you. Oh, come on.
That'll do it. Stuck that went significantly better the second time around. Assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. Oh, see you later, Stucky. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Wait, was that there? I totally didn't notice a parade float. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting, at least for a moment. The yeah, they are. Inserted itself. Cause that that those woods was cuckoo bananas. You know, I think I'm kind of. I might be in for this. Whoa. What was that? Yeah, I think I think I'm probably gonna play some more of this. Definitely. Um. I had to get inside the gas station to find a phone to call for help. Definitely kind of friendly vibes right now. Nope. You can fuck all the way off with that music. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Whoa. Right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her, I'll fix her. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? I think you are, Alan. I think you are. Just a smidge. If not like a whole lot, Nordic. Oh, look at this. That's amazing. What is Nordic walking? Is that like skiing, but with no skis and on grass? What? Let's see. Deer Fest. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, like, yeah, the Deer Fest is cracking me up because you know you're in a small town. If it's not Beer Fest, it's Deer Fest. We sell propane and propane accessories. Rainfall Sheriff Station. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are. I'm Alan Wake, but listen. I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wade. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Yo, Alan, close your mouth, my guy. Your mouth is always agape. But I guess you wouldn't know he was would be surprised otherwise. 